Hello YouTube friends. What I'm going to today is the Bakelite block capacitor rebuilds. So I took the dial off the radio so don't get damaged and I'm using this procedure that John sent me from YouTube. Uh, Joe Renoni and then I got my laptop set up and that's a picture of ABBA the show a retro group and they're really good and uh, got my glasses out my heavy-duty reading glasses so I could see this schematic because um, I'll tell you one thing you know pretty far-sighted so you can see how they magnify my face here so I gotta need some help so I used the laptop and there's the capacitor I decided to replace it's number 15, 0.05 microfarad. And this is like a, a little different view on the laptop here. And there's the capacitor there, number 15. And there's the pictorial diagram. And you can see it's dead straight in the middle of, of the radio. And that's what it looks like. Um, when you take a picture of it and it's just sitting uh, right in the middle of the radio and there's a dog bone resistor on there and that's supposed to be a 500k dog bone resistor and there it is there on the schematic number 36 uh, 0.5 meg or 500k and then what I did here was I looked that up on the pictorial diagram and it's number 36 there and that's that's the right spot for it. I always double check everything so when I measure it I'm getting 453k and that's like that's under 10 percent so I'm just gonna leave that resistor that's still good so I'm firing up the soldering iron here so to speak and uh, getting it all ready to, to rumble here and I got my volt ohm meter uh, working again because I had a little problem with it. So it's like it's on the high scale of the mega ohm scale, and it's at affinity. So when I when I hook up the uh, the leads here for you know to test it out, the capacitor, uh, the volt ohm meter goes goes to zero. So it's sh it's shorted out. And I tried different scales too, and it's 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 a dead short there. So I'm going to replace all these innards of all the capacitors, all 14 of them. So I'm going to do all of them anyway. So I just wanted to check it anyway. So what I did was I unsoldered um, the lead and I'm just cutting off the excess. And then I'm doing the same for, for, the, for the bottom one. And that's where the, the capacitor solders to the lug on the, on the outside of the Bakelite block. And now I'm just using that uh, quarter inch uh, wrench socket to to take out the um, the bake like block capacitor. And there's like a little grounding lug like behind there, and that's the one that went to the tuner. So you know I'm being careful not to lose that. I'm taking the screw out now, and uh, I'm just just following the procedure that um, that John sent me from YouTube. And this is like really great. I'm glad you sent it to me, John and it's really a good procedure that, that he developed here and uh, it's terrific I mean I can't thank him enough so uh, there it is I pulled it away from the chassis the Bakelite block and that's what it looks like and you see it's potted underneath it you can see that so what you do is you heat it up with a heat gun and at the same time you use a little jeweler screwdriver and you put it in the hole where that lead came out and you push it in and it pops right out you know just like John said it would it just you don't have to cook it you just melt it enough where you can push it out so now I'm just grabbing it with um, you know some uh, pliers here you just grab it and just kind of pull it out and then I'm using this um, this solder tool and I'm just kind of uh, getting all the residue out of it and uh, just doing a good job here getting the crud out of there and it's, it's all loose anyway I mean it's not really hard to do 
and and that's what the cap looks like and it does look like a like a wrapped like a foil wrapped piece of chocolate but I wouldn't advise eating it probably wouldn't be too good and now I'm just vacuuming up the uh, the residue here with my handy dandy R2D2 vacuum looks like R2D2 just vacuum it up and uh, it's good having all these tools like around that you could use you know then just vacuum them sucking out whatever residue is left in there and the, the vacuum worked really good it's a strong vacuum just sucked all the residue out what was left and now I'm just going into my kit here getting the capacitor as I ordered from uh, justradios.com and uh, now there's the number on the old capacitor it was 3615L is what the number was and I just looked it up on the parts, the original parts list, and I did find it on there, number 15, 3615L. And there it is. And it was 16 cents in 1933 for that whole bake like block uh, replacement. And uh, so, anyway, this is a, a cheat sheet I have to tell me like a 0.05 is 503K630 volts. So I found one of those in the in the package, and uh, that's that's it right there. So I'm just going to get it ready, and I'm going to test it out. So I got the the voltmeter, the volt ohm meter on the highest mega ohm scale, and that's at infinity now. And when I hooked the leads up to it, it dropped down real quick and came right back to infinity. So I know that's a good capacitor. I always check them out before I install them. Now you just kind of shove it in the holes, the original holes there. And you just place it in the in the old block and you just shove it in there. And there's the leads poking out the top. And I use that, like my screwdriver there to show you where where the leads come out through the original holes there. And what I'm going to do is like take those leads and wrap them once around the original lugs there. So. I just take the, the pliers and just wrap it around once and uh, get it nice and neat looking and then what I'm going to do is like I cut off the excess with, with my little diagonal little cutters there and then I use good solder I, I my wife got me this it's a uh, good Kester solder with a rosin core uh, number 44 and this is a smaller diameter and this stuff works really really good and then after I, I solder it up, I really couldn't show you that because I'm, I'm out of hands, but I just inspect it with the uh, magnifying glass. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the old capacitor just for the heck of it. And uh, I just do things like this. I just check the old one now. So it's at infinity, and then I'm hooking up the leads to it. And then I'm going to go back and, and then read the, the meter. And what it shows is boom dead short so that's a no good one anyway I'm all done so take it easy folks I got 13 more to do so I'll be back in a couple weeks take it easy uh, have a great day bye bye